Hey Pisces, um, welcome to your bonus reading for the month of May. Um, this is going to be a reading with regards to your love connections and I hope this would give you insights. Okay, and to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Info about my personal readings and um, everything else about this channel are in the description box below. Alright, so Pisces, let's go ahead and do your reading. I hope everyone is staying well and um, staying healthy. What do we have for Pisces in love? All right, Pisces. In love, we have justice, um, the fool, two of wands, the moon, the seven of wands, and the king of swords, the two of pentacles, the lovers, <laughs> the wheel of fortune, the eight of cups, and the magician, the page of swords, and um, the empress. Okay, at the bottom of the deck we have you. We have the queen of cups. All right, Pisces. Um, all right. So again, this is about your love connection. I'll be talking about two energies here you and your person, and um, you pick your side. Okay. So this connection, Pisces, I feel that you're dealing with is, um, is having a rough uh, patch right now, so to speak. Um, this could very well be after um, some sort of tumultuous um, encounter you've had with someone, and it feels like you may have, oops, the walls are up. You may not be uh, communicating as often as you used to, you know. Um, boundaries are up. So if um, there, there possibly be lack of um, communication or commu if there is, it's not constant. There's inconsistency in there. Yeah. But I feel like this connection, Pisces, is being divinely guided because this is the part where whatever has been um, marred or something that was not going right in the past, I feel that this connection right now is gearing towards a righting the wrongs, basically, making things right. Yeah, And it feels like this is the point where um, if there has been waiting in the past, I feel that this energy right here is more of, um, it is talking about, it is the time to decide on what uh, to do next. What's the right thing to do? What's the, the good decision to be uh, made? And what are the appropriate actions to be done afterwards? Okay, for you Pisces, even though there are a lot of things that you are not clear yet with regards to this connection. Perhaps you don't know how this person feels about you as of this time frame. You may be doubting um, their intentions towards you. You may be... Um, possibly you're just in your emotions right now. You're not expressing it, but there is a lot of turmoil going inside, you know, happening inside you. Primarily because I feel that you want to give it another shot. You want to risk out and have, uh, you know, a, a new beginning with this person, I feel. Um, if you've had a cycle with someone, this particular person that you're thinking about in the past that really was very difficult or challenging to deal with, I see Pisces that um, someone here in this connection is still willing to continue on, you know. Not necessarily to continue on fighting, but more so. I feel like there is an energy here of not giving up, but rather straightening things up. Okay? And um, Well, if this person has kept you waiting for a while or has um, been very distant from you, um, if this person has been um, 
not giving you um, the attention that you want or maybe have taken you for granted. I feel Pisces. For the Pisces that I am connecting with, I feel that you are you're 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 willing to give it another shot you're willing to give this person a clean slate yeah you're, you're kind of thinking about it also um apart from being emotionally attached to this person like you know if you love this person apart from that i do see that um someone here is wanting to really um do the right thing so if you feel like the other person needs something, there is that urge in you to kind of reach out or help out, you know, without any expectations at all. And it's been boiling inside you. It's like your thoughts, um, you've been thinking about this, you've been thinking about how to go, you know, or how to reach out to this person, or perhaps if you want to provide support or, or talk, or discussion, you're going back and forth, Pisces. I feel that um, there is a bit of um, hesitation on your part on on making the right the, the first move, perhaps to reach out or to invest more of your time, money, energy, and effort into this connection. But at the same time, when you pull back, there is that inner push for you to say, "Oh, maybe this person needs me." What's the right thing to do, especially for, for the given um, events that we have right now, for the current scenario that we have with all this pandemic? I feel that there is compassion here. You have compassion for this person, but um, you're going back and forth in, in how to show it. And um, even if you've probably been hurt in the past, this is you still, you know, you're still in this connection, Pisces, strongly, I feel strongly okay with regards to your person pisces um this is someone who may be a little bit um detached from you um the way they relate to you is very um shall we say sometimes casual and um sometimes too there isn't any emotional involvement so to speak if they need something this is a person who would just come forward and tell you exactly what they need yeah but mind you, you may feel that, you know, you may be used by this person, but I feel that whatever, whatever this person speaks about, it's the truth. It's the truth. But at the same time, know that you're dealing with someone who is not dumb. This is someone who knows exactly why they are doing such a thing. What's the purpose of it? Yeah. So if they show you a bit of openness that is how far as it gets for now don't read too much about whatever actions they may portray whatever you see whatever you see that they do towards you that's it nothing more nothing less okay nothing more nothing less um but i feel that you know you, you're wanting to have a new start here so it's it's a bit um difficult i mean challenging on your side because um you want action you want something to be done yeah you want something to be done here um but your person is more of a communicator a communicator kind of person but may lack action for now it's because um this is someone who may have just um, completed a cycle Pisces and now cycle in their life may not be related to this connection. But at the same time, um, this is someone who is looking towards what's next for them, you know, what's next for them. Since you are in their energy field right now, I do feel that you are one. You are one of the considerations that they have in mind. But there is a, I feel that your person has, a new path to take not not about you know a new path as in a new person no that's that's not that but i feel like in their personal life a cycle has been completed and therefore this is someone right now standing you know at the crossroads and um looking at things from uh, a different view um, you may feel that this is someone who is not committed who's not wanting to commit to you because it feel this is a person who feels like 
they have just gotten out of um, a big trouble that they were stuck in. And then now, it's sort of a, a new beginning, a fresh start for them. Um, and of course, just like a, you know, you've just been out of the prison, for instance. So when you step out of that gate, you could feel like, okay, this is a new, new chance, new shot in life. And therefore, um, they need to look at the different aspects in their life. You being part of the love life that they may have. Um, there could also be their own personal um, needs um, for survival, for um, living conditions, for instance. So this is a person who is at that stage. While you, on the other hand, you're pretty um, manifesting new things. You know, there are, there are a lot of um, things that are going for you. And you, you kind of being able to manage it pretty well. You don't have problems multitasking in your day-to-day -day life. But this person is someone who is looking out and seeing what's the next best thing for them to at least um, be able to go through life moving forward with um, stability, with abundance. Somebody who is getting a fresh start in life, I feel. <laughs> yeah. And things are pretty, you know, there are a lot of things changing in their life as well. It could be, you know, the impact that this COVID has on their life, on their finances and all that. So things are changing as well. But I do see that um, the changes that you feel in this connection, Pisces, would definitely um, bring balance back into this connection. So there is no point for now, <laughs> Pisces. To really um, delve into your feelings because if that stresses you up, okay? Um, you're being advised here, Pisces, to detach from any emotional burden that doesn't um, give you a justice. Or it, if it doesn't make you feel better, don't try to avoid feeling that. Try to divert your, your attention to um, things that are, are giving you... Um, peace, inner peace, you know, could be doing meditations. The moment you feel or you feel like you're starting to uh, stress up about how this person feels, where they are at right now, try to pacify yourself, yeah, try to pacify yourself and continue, continue um, doing the things, Pisces, that are visible for you right now, yeah, even about this connection, it's, um, you know, if you hear, um, this person wanting to communicate to you, be open about it. You know, if this is a connection that you want, you know, just just be open about it. Because things are happening. Um, there are changes that are happening in our environment right now, as well as the energy within this connection. Nothing is permanent. Even the confusion that you have is not permanent. Yeah? Because I feel that somebody here is not giving up. It could be you, it could be them. But as of the moment, um, your person is looking out for the best possible way for them to thrive. Yeah, To be more uh, fruitful, to be more um, stable in their life itself. And how can they, can they really be in a position to um, be able to give love? I know that there is there you have feelings here. There is a connection here. There is love in this connection. But your person needs to be at a state where they are able to give you the love. So how can they attain that? They need to have that stability that they need. They need before they can even think about higher than, you know, the basic needs. The way I see it. But this person hopes to talk to you. I do feel that you will receive communication at least during this time frame that I'm doing this reading, there is um, communication coming your way, a truthful one. Little communication, but whatever you hear, like I said, that's, take it as it is, yeah? Don't overthink about anything else or how you feel about the, the message is being delivered because I feel the message would, would come in direct, clear, and honest, yeah? And honest. 
and most importantly um there is connection here right there is love here and i feel this is a soulmate person soulmate connection for you too i do see that you're also trying to manifest this person back as well um one more thing pisces there is an energy here of a nurturing kind of energy so if you feel like you know if you are the nurturer of this connection if you feel like um this person needs i'm not saying that you really have to overextend yourself but the advice or the main message i get is do the right thing or what based on how based on your intuition yeah based on your intuition what is the right thing to do especially in terms of um showing your compassion to someone yeah that's the message i hear that's the message i get for this reading for you okay and even if this person is being detached from you pisces is being aloof perhaps or somebody who is distant from you i feel that this is someone pisces who wants to grow and expand with you they they like you they have love there is love here i feel but at the same time your person is in the crossroads right now and i feel that that decision that they need to do on where they want to push things forward in their life could bring about balance into this connection yep after all we have the lovers here there's a feeling for both of you that we are so near yet so far and that will be corrected too <laughs> yeah stabilizing things you have the justice all throughout if you have given good things for this connection it shall come back as well when karma strikes again yeah but always um i feel that you are the there is this compassion in you towards this person yeah share it extend if you need to but um don't overextend just um based on how you feel and what you feel is right yeah and also what's right for you yeah don't over compromise don't overextend as well yeah trust your gut in and in doing what's the right thing to do here okay i hope this gives you insights spices and um i'm going to leave it at that if you need further readings um suggested links on the screen as well as in my channel you can check out um pisces love playlist i do have tons of readings in there that you might enjoy also leave me comments and let me know how this resonates and if you like this don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever i post new videos if this is where we part ways thank you for stopping by